Hey guys, Adrian here for a Mac tutorial today. So, uh, one of my first Mac tutorials. I know I haven't done uh, these in uh, a while. Actually, I haven't done any tutorials for this channel, but I will be doing Mac and Windows tutorials, so no worries. But today, I want to show an application for the Mac uh, Snow Leopard that is available called Fluid. Now, this turns your favorite websites into Mac desktop web apps, basically, or applications. Um, if you've ever seen this, you may have seen this in, within Chrome. You can uh, create a web app, they call it. It runs off of Chrome. You can do this on Windows as well with Chrome or even on Firefox. There's an add-on called Prism. I'll leave a link in the video description. Basically, you're making a web application out of a website like Facebook, Flickr, Gmail, etc. Um, and what this allows you to do um, is, uh, like I said, get rid of all that kind of the clutter like the taskbar, uh, or should I say the, your, the address bar, and your bookmarks, the back button, all this stuff, and basically you're just going to be left with a stripped down version of the website. Now, um, of course, like I said, you can get Prism and all this other stuff, but Fluid adds some other stuff just because uh, it adds support for the notifications within Growl on your Mac and the dock. It takes advantage of the dock update, so once the application is docked here, it'll show you updates for like Facebook, stuff like that. Um, and there's a lot of user scripts available to really customize your experience. Like you can see, as you can see here, um, user styles are some of, are available to customize it. Full screen mode, customize, customizable URL shortcuts. Um, you can get plugins for sidebars and Twitter plugins. Uh, session restore. Um, so a lot of cool stuff is built in uh, that you can take advantage of that isn't available on plugins like for Chrome and for uh, Firefox. Anyway, so you can download the application here. It's free to download. Uh, and you get you know, all your plugins, etc. And once you download it, I'm going to go ahead and minimize here. This is what Fluid looks like. And it says, as you see here, create a site specific browser. So you're going to point it to a URL. So I'm going to go to http colon slash slash www dot. Uh, I'm going to use Facebook for an example here facebook.com. Name, I'll call it Facebook. And then you want to choose where you want to store the applications. In this case, I'm just going to put the Facebook app within my applications folder. You can specify an icon. You can say use the website favicon. Um, Fav icon, you know, whatever you want to call it. Or you can specify one. You can, you know, if you have one on your computer downloaded, you can upload an icon for that. Usually the website uh, Fav icon should do you well. So hit create. It's going to take a second here. And you'll see success. Facebook was created. And you can say launch now, reveal in folder. I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. And you'll see my Facebook should pop up uh, right there. So as you can see there, that's how it looks. Uh, and you have your options up here for Facebook. You can convert to a menu extra. So you can do all this other stuff. You can do user agents. You can run it in uh, different forms of different browsers. You can do a lot of other stuff uh, within the application itself. And you can create you know, a new tab if you want to do all, the, all that stuff. But then again, you don't have all that clutter that a normal browser would have. Um, and you can have some other stuff up here you can mess around with. Like, like I said, there's plugins available. There's a lot of different stuff that you can add on into Fluid uh, to make the app. So I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. To show you what it would look like if I was on my timeline here. Go to my timeline and you can see there. Um, you can just see all my statuses, I guess, through there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, no, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you know, clutter, nothing like that. Everything's just nice and easy. Uh, and it's, you know, like I said, fluid. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and exit that. And you'll notice here in the taskbar, or my, I should say my dock, there's a Facebook icon built off of the. Uh, actual fab icon off the website so I'm going to go ahead and quit that and yeah it's simple as that you can create a specific web um, browser or a specific site uh, and turn it into a web app or desktop application uh, it helps a lot you know stuff for a lot of like WordPress uh, Gmail if you don't want all that clutter you just want specifically what's on the website works out really really well um, so yeah check it out I'll leave it link in the video description and again uh, I'll leave a link to some other alternatives for Windows etc Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Adrian for the Digital Dodos channel. Don't forget to comment, like the video, and uh, subscribe. All right? Thanks for watching.